salmon to your good health. Wow, look at this. Oh, look at that for a pool. Wow. Okay, so I'm on Dawn away today. Look at that. Well, I feel like I almost want to keep low. Wow. Keep low, Carla. Don't make any disturbances. So that was a safari to get here. I think I've just come down like two miles of forestry track with absolutely no signage whatsoever to, um, to indicate that I was on the right path. Luckily the, the access map that is available on Fishpal is incredibly detailed. So if you follow it to the T, you'll end up where you want to be. But it's like, it's probably two miles to get, to get into the estate and into the, where the actual end of the fishing is. But good God, what a place. So it's just stunning. I can't believe how nice it is. I mean, it just looks, it looks an incredible place to salmon fish. So I'm feeling very, very lucky. And I probably get the feeling I've got the beat to myself. I think we better get a coffee on, get back and get ready because we're gonna have to get some fishing done in here. It's the color of the water. It just looks so inviting. So I reckon there is the chance of a fish today because yesterday was a massive tide and there was that rise in water so that means basically the fish would have come running straight through the association water that I was on yesterday and coming up here and holding in some of these deep pools and taking that first rest. Some of these pools are beautiful and if I was a salmon I'd want to go straight into one of them. So yeah there is a chance. My chances of finding a needle in a haystack today are maybe one in 500 billion as opposed to one in one trillion when i'm an old fella if i'm lucky enough to make it that far and you know what it is i'm not counting my chickens but if i do get to be an old guy and i'm in some like retirement home somewhere i'm gonna watch my own channel and repeat so that i can see all of the beautiful places that i fished and then relive them when i'm old and buggered so i'm putting on my gauntlets to get ready for battle carla are you ready for battle I think we're going to have a good day today. Do you know what it is? My mattress must be magic. This, this new bed, it's far more comfortable than my other van. And honestly, it's it's got the healing properties because by all rights, after the amount of communion I did with the spirit of the salmon last night and the amount of wholesome offerings that I made to the river, by all rights, I should have a raging hangover this morning. But I actually, I actually feel excellent. So it's either the restorative power of the mattress or it's just the... Um, the excitement of being here and having this beat to myself i mean this is this is where it's at for me like to be able to like to go somewhere like this and then have a chance to just work the pools out on my own that's that's what i prefer i mean, I, I understand the nature of gillies and everything like that but i think those beats that you go to and it's just like you know there's loads of rods and then you just sort of with a ghillie and they say right you've got to cover this spot this spot this spot and this spot and that's where you'll catch a fish that's not as exciting as this i don't think Ah, this is living the good life, this. All right, so this is how I'm gonna set up. I've gone with the slow sinking tip, and then I've got my, I've got three and a half feet exactly to this monkey fly, this monkey tube. Now, if that's not heavy enough and it doesn't get down enough, I'm then gonna to switch to this, which has got a little bit of copper in it. So hopefully this will get down, because this has been really attractive so far. So I've noticed that like little brownies have been going wild for this fly. And I also caught the uh, the bagged sea trout that I got, and I caught a salmon kelp on this as well. So it seems like a really attractive fly to me. It's a perfect day. It's absolutely perfect. It's really mild. It's as still as it could be. And I'm sure there was 30 kilometer winds forecast for today. 
Got no excuse for crab casting today at all. I'm not chucking a massive tube fly. I haven't got winds that blown in all directions at the same time. And let it come right into the bank. So obviously there's a, a fairly long section of thin riffly water that if I was a salmon that would put me off running any further. I would be in here in this nice pool where it's deep and they can just relax and get used to the fresh water. In my imagination this pool is stuffed with fresh sea lices that came in on yesterday's tide. putting up more lines as far as I can get across into that scum pool as well. And it's coming around here absolutely lovely. I'm getting quite far across into the scum pool and then just sweeping down the side of it. Look at how nicely it's coming around. Come on fishies. Come on fishies. I'm into the dead water at the tail of the pool now. Oh God, that's right on the money there, just right under the rock face. I think that'll do. We'll go downstream see if we can find some more exciting pools. What a gorgeous pool to fish though. Come on salmon is a tent to dance. Cast like that, it's not. Starting to get pretty peckish now. to keep you alive for a while. 
So here's the fishing hut, it looks nice. It's got a little cooker in there. Doesn't look like anybody's fished yet this year though, because the um, catch report sheet looks clean. I'm gonna hang out and see one name in it. So here's a curious thing. So I don't smoke and I've never had a cigar before in my entire life, but since I started making my YouTube videos, I've got like, I've had a couple of surprise presents in the post. Now, one of them, about three or four weeks ago, I got sent a brace of cigars. Um, all it said in the note was, congratulations on your first season on the salmon. And uh, like I said, there was two big fat cigars in there. I've never had a cigar before. And you know what it is? I've been working away on it a little bit since I've been here. And it's, um, it's quite nice. It tastes a bit like licorice, chocolate and old boots. But yeah, quite liked. Thank you whoever sent them. I was a bit dubious to start with to be honest like because, um, well, you know, should I smoke the cigar that somebody sent in the post? It could be from anybody. And I'm sure there was some sort of CIA plot to, uh, to assassinate somebody with an exploding cigar. So that was in my mind as well. But no, cheers mystery cigar sender. How are you supposed to fish this? Go on, you can do it. <laughs> go, 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 go. Ah. Did it. You can do it with you. All right, well, we can't go in there. The bank along here seems to have collapsed. They've got some sort of like wire meshing to try and hold it all together, which is a shame because that looks a lovely pool to fish. But I think there's no way I can get down there. And I'd like to fish this here with these fallen trees off. But again, I don't think I'm going to get down there. Oh, I've just seen a fish move downstream. God, how do you get in the bloody water? Oh, that's sod's law, isn't it? Look at this for a terrible place to fish from. I saw a fish move out there, but I don't think I'm even going to try and cast here. Carla, keep it from the edge. Carla, keep away. Come on, keep away from the edge. Nah, a boat. Right, found another pool. No, sorry, correct that. I found another accessible pool. I'm a bit miffed to be honest, because up there, that's the first fish I've seen and it's in a place that I absolutely can't get a cast at. To get to this pool it involves a 500 mile walk. At least here I can get an unencumbered cast, which is nice.
had a couple of those boils over there. Seems to be like a series of decent sized boulders. Alright, so I feel I've sufficiently covered this water, fished it right down to the tail. Don't think I missed much of it, but still no fishy. Nice. No wind knots, that's, that's always good. Okay, so I've got one of Scotty's flies on. We're going to give it a northeastern fly a whirl up here in the highlands and see how that does. And I've put a heavier sink tip on as well to account for the slightly lighter fly. So I'm on medium sink at the moment. Well that's it, I'm done. I've made it through all of the water twice. Uh, I'm absolutely knackered now, so <laughs> I'm going to have some uh, the rest of that stew that I made yesterday and then hit the road. I think we'll have a little pot of coffee though before I do it because honestly I'm absolutely goosed. Um, so the plan is to do more, a little bit more than half the journey tonight and then stop on the road overnight and then finish it off in the morning. I think I'd be too tired to drive all the way now. I haven't caught a fish but I've had a great time. I've loved fishing the water up here. I absolutely love the river Findon. It's honestly, it's such a beautiful river. I absolutely love it. Uh, I, I was really interested in the Forest Anglin Association water and I'll definitely be back to that. This Darnaway beach, to be honest, I'm probably never gonna get on it again. Um, it didn't really seem to have much availability. And I think the rest of the beats here, I think there's three beats on this estate. It's the Meads of St. John that I fished today, uh, which is available on, on Fish Pile. But uh, like I say, I think during the, the busy times, the tickets just go straight away. And the, the other beats, I think they're syndicates. Um, so no chance of getting on them. But it's been interesting. Um, nice pools like there's some nice pools to fish I didn't really get the feeling that was any fish yet today sometimes you kind of do you sort of feel like the river's got fish in it well today it didn't really feel like that I did see one fish move but that was down in the stretch where I just couldn't get to that's my probably one little gripe today about that um, about this so it's advertisers having eight named pools well there's not really because they're not accessible so with an excavator and a, and a couple of days like you could really sort the bank out down there and make some access 
uh, otherwise what's the point of having fishing pools if you can't even get to them anyway gripe over other than that i've had a lovely day i'm looking forward to some hot bait 